Alrighty, so today we're going to try doing a short one. Uh, as many of you, or as some of you may have seen, uh, I installed a TAC cluster in my Ranger, uh, but the TAC does not work correctly. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if you turn the truck to on, the tachometer just does that. And then when you actually start the truck, it goes down to about like 3,500 and stays there. Yeah, apparently it's a problem in old Ford trucks like this. So uh, I'm gonna try to do what I saw as a solution online, which is take the tack out and re-solder, reflow all the solder joints. And I'm terrible at soldering, so I'm probably gonna finish this video with a bunch of burnt fingers. So yeah. All right, so this is with the tachometer out. You can see it's actually only held in by four pins here's a little circuit board in the back of the tachometer and yeah from what i was watching this corner tends to get a uh, heat cycle a whole bunch it tends to get hot cold hot cold so the solder joints will uh, get cold and crack and that'll cause that issue so i'm gonna try to bring this upstairs resolder all those terminals and uh, see what happens to this bad boy also uh yeah i don't know if i need to really say but to get the tachometer out, uh, you have to take out the gauge cluster surround. There are two Torx headed bits right here. You also pull out the ashtray. And then you take a bunch of these little, small Torx headed screws and the clear gauge face and the black gauge surround comes out. And then you can gently manipulate the uh, tachometer out of there. All right, we've got the home solder station set up and uh, let's, uh Wait for that to get to burny temperature and uh, get going. So here's it all done. I may have bridged a connection or two, but who knows? I don't. Back to the truck, tacks back in. First step. So far, that's so good. Awesome. 